Oh man, you've just got to love the rain and ATS. Seems to follow me around wherever I go, even if I got that setting turned down pretty low. They love to give me some rain. Welcome everybody to another stream of America Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be driving a Peterbilt 389 in Washington and Oregon. Particularly we're going to try to stay west today. My goal is to drive as close to the Pacific Coast as I can. We do have a run lined up, as long as it doesn't disappear on me, fingers crossed, from Newport going up to Bellingham. So hopefully that will work out nicely for us. Do you appreciate you joining me. We'll be getting started here momentarily. And welcome to the truck. Is it working? I hope it is. We're going to see here momentarily. Can you see the truck? I see a black screen on the monitor. Nope, there it is. Okay. Yep, we're live. Welcome, everybody. We're getting things figured out. Alright, so, as you can see right now, we are in Newport. We're going to be coming over here to Georgia Pacific, picking up some paper products, and we're going to be going up to Bellingham. Now, the route that it is drawn for me would take me over to I-5, and pretty much I up I-5 all the way to Bellingham. I've done that too many times. We're going to try something a little different today. We're going to go from Newport. We're going to take the 101 all the way up here and as I understand it there is a ferry right here that will connect us between Port Angeles and up to uh, this highway here going up towards Bellingham and that's our plan today we're gonna do things just a little bit differently try to take the scenic route and enjoy that all the ATS has to offer now we're in the Peterbilt 389 it is raining pretty good tonight uh, or early this morning whatever time it is I guess it's 1030 at night we may end up uh, doing some rest after we accept the job if we've got time for it so that we can uh, try to enjoy the scenery in the day. Because this is part of the map that I have yet to explore. And that's just a shame. I really want to explore more. So we're going to set out here. Clear on that side after this car. See if we can know. Oh, well, there's a truck coming. Sorry, bro. I'm going to cut you off. I'm also going to misjudge my turning radius and have to back up. We're off to a great start, everybody. Oops. Let's see. Clear that side. Clear that side. We're going. And here we go. Do I even have my headlights on? Yeah, I do. Driving the Peterbilt 389. This is a custom sound pack by Z Mods. I believe it's by Z Mods. Actually, I should go verify that, but I am 99% sure it's by Z Mods. Uh, the cat engine. Uh, I kind of put myself in a corner on that one. Come on, are you going to let me in? Thank you, sir. That is much appreciated. Usually, the average uh, driver will not be so forgiving. So, showing I'm blocking like two lanes here. It's always got to be raining. I guess I could turn it off completely. I like the rain once in a while, but uh, 
Yeah, it really just seems like I get it all the time if it's turned on at all. Oh, missed that shift. Let's try that again. Clutch into fifth. There it is. Playing Convoy, I've been driving the uh, Cascadia quite a bit, and I drive it with the manual. And uh, it is funny, I was talking to this last night with the guys I was driving with. There's the rain letting up. Turn the wipers off. Uh, with the guys I was driving with, I was mentioning how I tend to stall out in the Cascadia quite a bit, because I have a hard time, um, especially after driving this truck on the Cascadia, getting the clutch just right. Um, it's almost like the clutch and the Cascadia, and especially since it's a little bit less powerful of, a, of an engine than this has, that uh, you know I tend to stall the Cascadia quite a bit. Um, not all the time, but every once in a while I'll be on a start, especially if it's like a hill start or something a little bit tricky. And uh, yeah, you know I struggle to get the truck rolling. And uh, this truck is very, very forgiving. You can let out that clutch quite a long ways and uh, avoid stalling it out. But yeah, not so much the Cascadia. Anyways, I do love driving this truck though, man. I wish I could take the truck with the mods into convoy. That day, hopefully, hopefully it will come before too long. Hopefully the sounds are up high enough for you guys. I might and check our volumes here once we get uh, once we get pulled in and get loaded. Now the moment of truth to see if the uh, job disappeared on us. That also tends to be my luck in uh, ATS sometimes. I'll have the nicest job lined up and then I go to accept it and somebody else has already taken it or something. Or it expired. I guess I really don't pay attention to the expiration time on those jobs all the all that well yeah. all right let's see if we can get just close enough to get the job there we go then I'll take that turn wider all right so frame nope not freight market we want cargo market yep there it is okay so it's still there so we will accept that job paper products uh, 32,000 pounds going to uh, Bellingham Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna crank hard left now. I tend to give this truck way more throttle than these. Eh, that's not gonna work, is it? All right, we're gonna back it out and then reattempt that turn because uh, I had to turn it tighter than I wanted to to fit through that gate. But thankfully, we got a lot of room right up here. So we can kind of just pull it straight in and then we'll turn just like that. Lovely. All right, let's see. What's our back in situation here? Not too bad, actually. Um, I'm going to U-turn. And actually, I'm going to see if I can maybe set up mostly a straight back. Um, if I do have to kind of alley back it, at least it'll be on the sight side, not the blind side. Um, it should be easier there. Now the rain stops, we're going to get the window down. And we're looking all right. Alright, we're gonna get turned in here. Just like that. We'll turn the flashers on for safety. Yeah, I didn't really set that up straight back. I lied. But we'll do it this way here. There we go. Doing okay.
know a lot of guys probably put this in quicker, but I tend to find that going slower you tend to just to naturally be a little bit more accurate. And I still kind of jacked it up even going pretty slow. This isn't a dock though, so it doesn't have to be exact. Um, you know, they're just going to load it up with a forklift. Um, I'm going to see if I can just straighten up just a little bit though. Come to this side and then back to the left. There it is. Alright, that should work here. I think we can do this in the mirror now. See that there. Alright, so I got the edge of the door in both mirrors. Maybe a little bit more on this side, so we'll do a little bit of turn like that. Yeah, I think we're pretty straight too. Actually, yeah, I'll turn a little bit more this way. There it is. Alright. And we'll go ahead and get loaded up. While we're doing that here, uh, for your guys' sake, I think the game audio is a little low. I'm going to turn it up just ever so slightly. <coughs> Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Oh, I was driving around with my high beams on. I hope I wasn't high beaming anybody. I actually need to uh, adjust the wheel real quick in this truck too. It is kind of blocking my uh, indicator lights just a bit. Angle it down, yeah, just like that. That should be perfect. Then you can still kind of stoop and see your gauges. The P389 is a lot nicer with track iron because you can actually kind of move around and see all the gauges if you need to. Alright, we are loaded up. Let's go ahead and actually before we press off um, or press uh, take off? Press on? I don't know. We're going to set our GPS to take us up. 101 Let's see. How's the best way to do this? I want to see the entire coast highway. So we are going to do it this way. So we'll do there. And we don't want to go up five. We want to go up the one one here. So just like that. So that'll be our route for today. Should take us 10 hours, 31 minutes. Of course, I want it to be daytime as well. So we're pretty short on time. I may go ahead and use my console to set the time back a little bit because otherwise I feel like we're just not going to get to actually see the scenery that I want to see, which is kind of the whole point. So give me just a second here. Um, i got to remind myself what the console command is uh, for uh, changing the time here. There it is. Alright, so we're going to go console. Whoops. That's the escape button. Let's try that button. Right, okay, so we're going to go G. Set. Time. And let's go like morning like 7. Oh. Helps if you use the uh, correct character. Whoa. Alright, there we go. Hey, look at that. It's morning. Alright. Now we should have an opportunity to hopefully see our scenery as we go to Bellingham along the Pacific Coast. Alright, we are loaded up and ready to go. I'm just curious now. How did that affect this? Alright, we're going to be late, but I'm okay with that. We just decided to sleep like five hours here. This drive today is about the scenery, not about being on time. I'm sure I could set the uh, day as well, I can't remember. Well, I guess I can look it up there. 
but I probably could have set the day back a day and then had all the time I needed, but yeah, it's okay. We'll just say that we called the uh, client and they were okay with us being a little bit late on our delivery. All right, we are on our way up to Bellingham. Listen to the beautiful sounds of that P389 with Caterpillar engine. And again, this uh, sound mod that I'm using is available on Steam Workshop. Uh, you can just search for Caterpillar Engine or Z Mods. Um, I've I'm using quite a few of his uh, available mods there on the workshop. He does, or Z Mods does excellent work. Oh, miss the shift to fifth. There it is. Cool truck there, that little blue, I don't know, Ford pickup maybe. I have a hard time telling trucks apart, you know, from the 1950s eras. I think if I look at them long enough, I can generally tell. I feel like that might have been a Ford, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Miss that shift too. I'm having a hard time with the floating the gears in this P. I think it's a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker than the Cascadia. You almost kind of when you're floating the gears, I feel like I kind of just get in a rhythm. Um, and the different trucks are just a little bit different. Uh, this one, I kind of feel like I got to be just a little bit quicker on the uh, gear changes. Oh, miss that shift third. Find it till you grind, or find it till you grind. <laughs> grind it till you find it. There, I got it right. All right, in fifth. So if we can get around this guy, I think we got a little more pulling power than he does. Check it out, guys. I think we're actually. Well, I don't think we're at the coast yet. We'll see here. You had a rough room? Yeah, you should be able to make that merge. Go ahead and roll the uh, window up here. Right, that Jake break here. Looks like people are kind of generally slowing down. Oh no, that is a coast. Yeah, you can see the uh, ocean right there. Look at that. That's why I wanted to do this, get the views. Oh, except traffic's going slow. I can't pay attention to the scenery.
wonder how much uh, oceanfront view would go for up here in uh, Oregon. I think we're still in Oregon at the moment. Because, yeah, we came out of Newport. So, yeah, I don't think we hit Washington quite yet. Beautiful area, though. Like I said, I've never been up here in real life. And I would sure love to come and check it out. that fire truck up there that's going slow for everybody what the fire truck man we'll have to stop somewhere along here I'm sure there's probably a viewpoint uh, somewhere along this highway um, we could probably pull over and get some cool screenshots and everything with the view Back, speak the devil. Let's do it right here. Let's pull off and uh, check out the awesome views. Oh, car coming. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just scared you. Oh, it's a rest area, too. Check that out. Oh, and the sailboat, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that direction there is awesome. They did a really good job with the scenery in this game. Get the drone shot. I'm sure a lot of truckers carry drones in their truck, right? Alright. Got the awesome view. Let us press on. See what other viewpoints we can uh, discover along the way. It's not like the official viewpoint like they have in uh, ATS. And now that we've kind of let the traffic go, hopefully we won't have anybody slow in front of us for a while. And really kind of cruise around you know actually set the cruise control and just kind of be a steering wheel holder for a few minutes I like having that phone up in the windshield in terms of uh, you know it helps you see where you need to go a little bit better sometimes, but um, when you're around at a corner like that, sometimes it really gets in the way. Wow, check that out. That's a nice view. Little island out there. Enjoy the sounds here. I love the turbo one that uh, he has on the sound pack for this engine. Sounds really nice. So hopefully on this stream, I don't know if anybody else has watched any of my other streams or uh, video uploads. Um, I noticed in pretty much all of them my voice is pretty quiet and it's kind of finicky trying to get things right with OBS. Um, 
because if you don't set it up right, let's see. I feel like running some legs. I'm, I'm going to pull over and uh, respond to my friend here real quick, everybody. Uh, if anybody is watching this, if you haven't checked out Rambo Nick's channel, he does a lot of ATS and Call of Duty. A really awesome, uh, really awesome guy. Um, you know, I've done a lot of convoys with him now and really enjoy uh, driving with him. All right, so we're going to pull off here for just a moment. I'm going to send you guys over. Whoops. I must have messed that up. There we go. I'm going to send you guys to the standby screen for just a second. Uh, hang tight. I'm going to be right back with you. Just going to answer him real quick. I'll probably do some legs with him later. Okay, uh, I answered him, and we're gonna be back. Uh, let's see. All right. He says ten four. So after I finish uh, this run here, we'll do some uh, convoying with Nick. Man, look at like the, the plants and stuff right through here are really cool. The vegetation. I tell you, SCS has done amazing work lately with the scenery, the maps they've been coming out with. I absolutely cannot wait for Wyoming and Texas. You know, they've uh you know just been gradually improving over the years and um, you know, they've got more hype going right now for their uh, map DLCs than they've ever had, and it's for a good reason, man. They have done amazing quality work, especially considering, you know, I'm sure it's not an easy task. I know it's, you know, compression, you know, 15 to 1, you know, distance in the game compared to the distance in real life, but, you know, this is still a massive map. Um, that they have put together for uh, ATS and I can't even imagine how much complexity and detail they have to put into uh, getting the map right man they do a they do a good job glancing over at my uh, monitor to make sure I actually brought the game back up for you guys. Be a bummer to drive the rest of the way to Bellingham showing you my standby screen. Here's one of the uh, drawbridges. I haven't hit one of these red yet. Um, I know especially in convoy and stuff. Oh dude! Check that out! That was just an orca jumping right there. Ha! Huh, I had no idea. That was freaking legit. I gotta go back and watch that, man. I gotta get a clip of that one, too. I don't have a clip button set up yet. <laughs> but yeah, that was legit an orca jumping out of the water. Alright, that was cool. That made my day. Wow, man. Check that out, old monument, or uh, welcome sign maybe for the city. This for the uh, 101, yeah. So let's see, where are we now? Is this uh, Port Angeles? No, Astoria. Yeah, we're not even close to Port Angeles yet. We just, uh, I think we just crossed into, um, or we're just about to cross into Washington. We're still in Oregon. We're just about to cross the border um, up here, I believe.
Come on, give me a green. How far is it? Uh, let's see, 7 hours, 45 minutes. So, yeah, about 7. Oh, green light, we're going. We're running it. Sorry, folks. Oh, <laughs> there's a cop sitting right there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be my luck, man? I sit through a green light. Sorry, officer, I was uh, texting and driving. No, um... Let's see, what was I saying? Yeah, so about seven hours times about four minutes per hour. So yeah, it's about 28 minutes and uh, we'll be complete with the drive. We'll go driving with Nick. Check this out. All right, so I think once we're across this bridge here is uh, when we will officially be in Washington. Do you check this out? Check out the scenery, man. I haven't driven up here yet, and man, it is uh, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm real excited to see all this. switchback coming up here welcome to Washington hey right, let me get that uh, job info out of your way for you a lot more fun when you can see everything oh truck coming I don't know if anybody who was watched, uh, who's watching this stream has watched any streams by uh, Rambo Nick. But uh, last night I had a couple of pretty sketchy passing moments trying to get around some slow traffic. And uh, with traffic coming. I tell you, in convoy, I tend to drive a little bit quicker than I drive in single player. I say that as I slow down from 10 over the limit, but. Uh, I feel like there's just more time pressure, you know. You don't want to make the uh, the guys you're trucking with wait for too long. But uh, anyway, so I do feel pressured oftentimes when I'm especially driving in convoy to make um, passes that I probably wouldn't otherwise make. A little bit of that external pressure. I mean, this is a little bit uh, windy through here. Let's back it off a little bit. Check out the rock wall, though. That is cool. Oh man, I'm loving this drive. Let's get back down to 7th here. Pretty sharp corner coming up here. Swift. What's up, bro? A windy road, but that's what you get sometimes with the back roads. Excuse me, I had an itch on my leg there, I had to itch. Alright, turn the left up here. Oh! Deer! Oh dear! I've never seen wildlife before, and now I'm seeing them like all over. The orca jumping out of the water? I mean, what are the chances of that? That's awesome. I guess chances are pretty good if they wrote it into the script for the game, but you know what I mean. Oh, miss that shift. Let's try uh, clutching it into seventh. There we go. We'll go seven high. Through here. Looks like it will straighten out. Oh, we got a way station. Oh, do we get a bypass? Hey, we got the bypass. All right. 
We'll uh, step that speed up a little bit. Thank you, folks, for allowing me to bypass today. 35 miles per on this corner. Back it off a little bit. Yeah, and these back roads are pretty fun uh, sometimes, especially when traffic's light like this. You know, when you get behind slow traffic, then it's you know a little more work intensive. But uh, you know, otherwise you're just kind of cruising, feeling the road. Uh, let's see here, Aberdeen. Hadn't been to Aberdeen before. Looks like a nice place, Aberdeen, Washington. Oh, red light. We got first here. I'm at, oh, there it is. Grind it till you find it. All right, we're sliding over. Oh, that was a uh, bridge. That was down. I was thinking we were waiting for a stoplight. Waiting for a bridge to lower. All right, we got a turn coming up here. Town of Aberdeen. Oh, I lucked out on that light. on my other leg now. <laughs> Guess I got a little bit of dry skin today. Probably TMI. Oh, fourth gear, there we go. Oh, that was close to that curb. I don't know if anybody's ever seen the uh, YouTube channel Riding with Dave uh, with the turn cam. Be cool if I could uh, put a turn cam over there. Yes. Yeah, that's a cool YouTube channel if you want uh, you know, just to kind of a glimpse into the world of trucking. Um, this, uh, his name's Dave. He's been driving for the company CFI now for a little over a year, but uh, he makes some trucking vlogs and very entertaining to watch. Definitely gives me an appreciation for the work that truckers do. Um, and he's just super fun, energetic guy, and he makes some pretty fun videos kind of showing the life of uh, being a trucker. Be sure to check that out if you want a, a cool video or cool YouTube channel to watch about trucking. But uh, yeah, every time I look over at that mirror, I'm thinking Dave with the turn cam. Man, this is beautiful up here. This is kind of fun. This is what, you know, this it's moments like this that really make me love America Chuck Simulator. You know, exploring new scenery. I mean, you just feel like you're in a road trip, you know. I mean, how cool is it to have a video game that you can take a road trip? You know, just relaxed, drive at whatever pace you need to. Exploring scenery. Take a break if you need to. Speaking of which, I think I've got enough fuel. I got 300 gallon tanks on this Peterbilt. I mean, uh, we're a little under half, so let's call it 100 gallons times five. So we should have at least 500 miles of range. And we're only 226 miles from destination, so we should be okay. No need to stop for fuel. Ooh, check out the mountains in the distance. That's cool. That's probably uh, 
I don't know, one of those mountains uh, out near Seattle. I'm totally blanking on the names now. I used to know Mount. Ah, I can't even tell you. I've looked at the map so many times, I should know them right off the top of my head. But, uh, anyways, yeah. What are those mountains are near Seattle? That's what they are. Cruising right along. It's kind of cool here. It's like old valley. Hill country with the tall trees and I mean, it's just so green. Definitely has a different feel than like California and Nevada. It's not, you know, desert. I mean, California's got some real green parts, especially up north. But uh, yeah, it's a very, very different area. I'm really glad I'm taking the drive through here today, exploring. Uh, 35, we're gonna slow it up. Now I'm stuck behind slow traffic and that one's a cop, so... I think we're uh, out of luck. I don't know. I guess if they if they go slow enough and I get a dashed line like this, I can get through my gears quick enough. Yeah, we could, we can maybe get around them, but I don't foresee that being really being a realistic option. Unless I want to risk another ticket. <laughs> it's so funny taking that left turn, man. Cops sitting right there as I uh, blew through the red light after I sat through the green light. Don't drive distracted, kids, I'm telling you. I didn't see what that river was called. Man, that's so pretty there. Look at the different color leaves on the trees. There's like a whole neighborhood right here. Of course, there's going to be slow traffic in front of me, making it harder for me to enjoy the scenery. All right, let's go down seventh gear here. Uh, I guess it was only 40. Hey, there's a kind of a forested area. Oh, uh, this guy's gonna give me a ticket because he thinks I'm drunk. No, I'm not drunk. I'm just admiring the scenery. I'm not think as you drunk I am. Yeah, man, this is my first time driving this road. This is so cool. I can't believe I haven't driven this road yet. I mean, look at that scenery, man. That's a that's a big old mountain right there. The trees all over it. I'll see if, uh, after I get done uh, with this single player run here, I'll see if Nick wants to join me for the, um, maybe wants to join me up here because we were going to drive uh, logging trailers today because we both commented, you know, that's something we haven't done a lot. We've never tried it in uh, Convoy. So it'd be fun to come up here with the logging trailers and uh, explore. Oh, come on, folks. On the limit's 35. Please at least do 35. Alright, I'm a big rig and I can take these corners at 35. Y'all should be, have no problem. In fact, 45 might even be okay. No, they're gonna go slow. Ooh, check that out. Man, that's a view right there. The water and the hills coming out of it with the trees. Beautiful scenery. I swear, officer, I'm not drunk. Just admiring the scenery. Oh, horn check. Now I really think I'm drunk. 
sitting back here honking horns, swerving in and out of lanes. How far out are we now? I mean, once we're on the ferry, it's really a pretty quick run. Or, well, I should say, as soon as we're off the ferry, it's a very quick run up to Bellingham after that. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully not too long here. Big ol' rock or uh, rock quarry here to the right. Is that what that is? I see like mountains. I think that's gravel. I'm not sure. Gravel pit. Oh, cops turning. Oh, they're both turning. Yeah, there's some open roads. If I can find my gear, if this will work. I will say I've gotten pretty quick at double clutching uh, downshift, so you got a double clutch and rev match. Um, I've gotten pretty good at that, and if I get kind of flustered, like you know, a really sudden stop, man, I almost kind of give up. I'll try to get one gear in and then smash the brakes. So otherwise, I'll uh, do that. I guess I could. I haven't really practiced like a heel toe technique for double clutch downshifting. Um, but you know that's kind of one thing I guess you could try do a little heel toe oh. Missed my engine brake there Where is this right now? I wasn't paying attention. I know we gotta be getting pretty close to the... Pretty close. I think it's Port, what, Port Angeles, right? That's where we're gonna catch the ferry. Oh, red light. That's a quick one. Yeah, it's like, that's one where I have a hard time double clutching and downshifting. I got a couple of gears out of it, but uh, didn't quite get all of them. Let's see, we'll uh, start off with first. I also kind of have a habit of kind of going to low, low for a start, and I really don't need to do that unless it's a steep hill or something. Um, generally, first is acceptable for a start, as long as you're clutching properly. And as I've been climbing these gears here, I'm just uh, floating the gears. Alright, are you... alright, well, I guess I'm letting you go. He, he wasn't going to give me an inch, man. He wants to be in front. Well, if you're, you're going to take the front there, you'd better uh, better go fast. Because I swear, if you pull in front of me and go 15 miles an hour, I'm going to be pissed. Just like that. I'm telling you, man. In that big old hurry to get on by me on the right. You know, I guess I, I should have really kind of hammered down a little bit harder. I might have been able to leave him in the dust but nope he wants to pull in front of me and do 20 miles an hour there he's speeding up oh check out that mansion out there almost looks like the white house kind of big floor uh, pillars out front I guess maybe not really Somebody will post a picture of the White House and be like, look how different it is. Sunflowers? Yeah, those are sunflowers. That's cool. I way over revved that one. Meant to go into four low, not too low. I 
Of course, he's going to turn left and do 20 miles an hour in front of me, aren't you? It was just so important that you had to get around me back there. But I digress. Probably shouldn't road rage driving a big rig. That's probably not good. Probably pretty dangerous. Man, the vegetation work over here is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm probably losing a couple of frames a second, but... I mean, man, you can't beat that scenery. Come on, hit the gas. Go faster, it's 50. Well, now it's 35. Man, you're going to break hard. Oh, you're turning. Yes! You make that turn. I want the open road. Until Johnny Law's sitting right around this corner over here. And I come flying around at 50. Now that's if I can find 6th gear. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I thought he was going for it. Oh, yeah, in there. You kind of saw I was going for low, low, but then I stopped and popped it in neutral. I think it's because, you know, when I'm maneuvering around a yard, you know, getting in and out of a dock, then I'm going back and forth between reverse and low, which is, oh, we're turning. I mean, oh, this is the uh, ferry yard. That, that Okay, that makes sense. Glad I didn't try to go straight there. That wouldn't have worked. All right, they say open. I don't see a box or anything. I know it's probably going to charge me for the ferry eventually. Um, let's see. What, do I have to do anything? I've never done this before. Um, or do I have to wait for it to... And there's a boat there. Oh, it's open. What am I doing? I should have pulled left. Oh, this is going to get tight here. Give it every inch. Uh, I turned way early. I think I can clear them though. Alright, we'll use low low here. Ooh, it's tight. It's tight. We got the tandems past them though. So, I mean, we can turn the truck as much as we need to now without hitting that freight liner there. Well, I don't hit this yellow Mustang here. And I totally screwed that up. Who's the noob here? the FNG the freaking new guy alright there's the box I was looking for and I guess we just drive on the ferry and then I'm gonna stop here and say hey I wanna ride across and yeah we're gonna Wow, that's cool. I didn't know I did that. The sound there. This is my first time using the ferry. Hey, we're here. Look at that. Alright, that worked. Yeah, that's my first time uh, taking the ferry across. I assume that probably works in, uh, in what you call it, in convoy. I don't know, though. I've never tried it. Alright, clear on that side so where they can see. Yeah. Oh, I screwed that one up. I think I just took a sign down back there. I'll have to watch that one in the replay. See if I actually did or not. Alright, we should be pretty close now to Bellingham, so we're we're getting there. Get to enjoy just a little bit more scenery. Come on, truck. Yeah, 35. Nick's waiting on me. See, there's that external pressure I'm talking about. Don't want to make him wait on me for too long. All right, we should be there real world time in like four minutes. So, um, I might, for his sake, I'll do the quick drop off too. I'm not going to worry about backing into the dock or anything uh, for this video. You already got me just 
or you got to see me do it do that uh, once there at the beginning of the video discovered new viewpoint check that out oh dude that is pretty sick view I do have to admit I'll come check it out later I've explored the scenery a little bit you know seen what's out here I just want to go uh, convoy with Nick now I don't want to make wait for too long and it's raining of course it's not appropriate we start the stream with a rainstorm and Looks like we're going to end it with one, too. Oh, and you, man, you can already tell that fog is rolling in. That visibility is dropping quicker than a healthy person's cholesterol. Is that a good analogy? <laughs> Alright. And this car in front of me wants to be cautious. Alright. You know, if it was clear and I could see more than 200 yards, I would pass you. But, no, you're going to go, so, oh, there's that, say 35. Uh, all right, we'll start backing off. Should be getting close here anyways, like I said. 36 minutes, or miles, 47 minutes. Uh, okay, we're hopping on the 5. That's familiar territory. Oh! Yep, just like that. <laughs> oh, boy. See? Distracted driving gets you every time. Don't want to drive distracted. Especially in a big rig in a rainstorm. There's one for the blooper reel, right? Uh. All right, Interstate 5 northbound to Bellingham. All right, let's not run the same guy again. I will say the AI aren't the most smooth about decelerating. He is certainly not the first artificial intelligence driver I've rear-ended, and he will not be the last. And we got lightning. All right, getting on here. Oh, come on, bus. Come on, bus. You got to merge, man. Oh, he's going to slam on the brakes here, isn't he? He's going to slam on the brakes. Here, I'll block the lane for you, bro. All right. Oh, at least he didn't do the brake slamming. I was ready for that. I'd say welcome to Brake Slam Simulator, everybody. Let's do a little seven high here. Keep that nice fast acceleration going. Of course, it's probably not the best idea given how low this visibility is. about 70 or so now we're cruising all right we are almost there guys just 11 more miles 15 minutes of game time which in reality is about one more minute of uh, real time tree man that tree was hanging pretty far into the lane course if I am going to get to my destination I should probably be in the correct lane oh are you gonna be that guy yeah you are oh. yeah I screwed that one up <laughs> gosh dang it oh guys wow what a way welcome to the end of the stream <laughs> oh all right. Well, how much do we do on that one? I'm glad the truck's still drivable at this point. I don't see warning lights. <laughs> that went about as terribly as it could have. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Distracted driving. Yeah, I did about 5% damage. And here I am, driving distracted again. Go, go. Go. Come on, folks. Waiting on you. Come on. 
I had to pull out a little bit far in that lane line. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should stick to dr or, uh, flying airplanes. There's less stuff to hit. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought he was going to pull right in front of me. Oh, and look at that. I drove right past my destination. Man, guys, it is just a cascading failure on my part. <laughs> See what I call this when I upload it to YouTube. Nice drive ends with massive crash. Seems about right. Alright, we're going to be left here in this place. Alright, so we're just going to do a drop and hook. We're just going to drop the trailer for him. And then that way... Oh. I bumped the gate. Hey, see? There's another one. I think I need to adjust the brake sensitivity too, if I'm honest, in this profile. My other profile, I bumped it up a little bit. Uh, it's driving on the pedals. The brake tends to be a little bit weak. And I haven't played this profile a lot since I got this wheel. And the... Um, you know, the brake really does take a lot of pressure to get it to stop quick. So, yeah, we were late. We know that. Um, wow, eight grand. <laughs> That's like almost half the freaking delivery. But, uh, you know, I guess it's the way it is. For, you know, we were like four hours late. So, five hours late. All right, so 18 hours, we went 428 miles, burning about 67 gallons of fuel. That was pretty fun. Um, you know, I hadn't done that drive, so Newport to Bellingham taking the uh, Pacific Coast Highway, I mean, 101. Well, guys, if you stuck with me this far, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to shut the stream down officially. I'm going to pick up a new one here uh, in just a couple of minutes, do some convoy trucking with some of the guys. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.